Hey everyone, it's the 21st of February, it's a Thursday evening and the time, according to this clock, is 10.36 in the evening. Now, that TV I fixed, I've actually got rid of. Not sure it was actually a good swap. Well, actually I suppose it was for some of the gear I got, but maybe not for these computer cases. <laughs> um, so, two computers, I've got one there, one there. The one on the floor actually stinks of dog piss. A friend of mine got these um, for free. Um, he actually wanted to keep the one on the floor, but unfortunately the motherboard was shot. Um, I do have it in the bin, <laughs> but it, it's got a lot of crap all over it, so I'm not going to get that out to show you. But basically, this is just another motherboard I'm using for demo purposes. It had a problem. Actually, this has got both bridges. That one DDR3 motherboard I actually had an i3-530 with it, which is a dual core, four threads, two gigabytes DDR3 RAM as well. So it would have been a, or could have been made into a decent machine. Anyway. There's a chip on there, obviously, like I said, this has got north and south bridge. That one only has the one. So if we just pretend this doesn't exist, <laughs> just for purposes of this, it was a problem with this chip. Um, I took the heat sink off because I could feel it was actually getting rather, rather hot. Put a little bit of thermal paste on, put it back on, and we actually got the motherboard to work, although it took ages to even get into BIOS and then sometimes it would freeze in BIOS and it would shut itself off and it was just being a very temperamental bitch. Um, but I noticed when it wouldn't boot up and we wouldn't get nothing out of the DVI on it or any way, it just sat there with a blank screen. Sometimes when I tapped on this in certain areas I could get it working again so it was obvious a problem with the chip so Unfortunately, I scrapped the board. I don't have a lot of choice. Anyway, I have the case itself down here is actually a nice case. The one on the floor down here. Um, but it's absolutely filthy. One, because of where it's been outside in all the walls. Two, I'm guessing the previous owner of both of these were very heavy smokers. I mean, just look at it. Look at the colour of it. That is nicotine stain. And when I stick my head in this one, I can smell cigarette smoke. But look at this. This is a couple of the fans. I don't even know if it will work. Look at it. It's like soot has gathered on it or something. I don't even know if the fan works. I'm, I'm going to try and clean them up. I'm going to do it in a way that's not recommended because I'm just going to fill the bathtub with water and chuck all of this crap in it. The motherboard is toast on this one as well. So what I actually want to do in this video is uh, strip everything out of this that is knackered, which is pretty much every flipping thing. <laughs> Once I get the motherboard out, I will show you the... Um, capacitors on it but most of them are shot there's a uh, I counted while it's sitting in here 12 popped capacitors 12 that've popped their tops so um, when I plugged this in and turned it on I knew damn well it wasn't going to do anything but I still like to try <laughs> Yeah, these are the two hard drives that came with it. We have an, a, uh, well, the main one is 120 gig. I couldn't hear no funny noises from these, so I'm going to assume they're good, but I will test them. The second drive, what do you reckon it was? Put your answers down below. I want that bloody slide off of there. If you guessed another 120 gigabyte drive, you'd have been wrong. If you guessed something like a 250 gigabyte drive or bigger, you'd have been wrong. 
It's actually just an 80 gigabyte drive, that's all it is. I have no idea. I'll stink a cigarette. Well, I won't compute that stink a fucking dog piss and won't stink a cigarette smoke. Excuse my language. But this has got MSI written on it. And on there, it's got a USB port, four LEDs, and I believe it is a USB port that's covered up with a stick of it. Do not remove when using something. I was going to remove that sticker, but I'm going to have a look at that under the magnifying glass. And what have we got? We've got two of these. That must be for the USB port. So there's obviously two USB ports on there. Oh, do not remove when using Bluetooth. What's under it then? I'm curious now. What the hell is under it? I don't know. It won't come off. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. I've already taken the RAM out. Like I said, I don't know. I don't know what's good and what isn't. Flaming hell, I stink. To be honest, I think, given the choice of cigarette smoke or dog piss, I'd actually prefer the dog piss. <laughs> I really do not like the smell of cigarettes or cigarette smoke. Um, well, not when it's sort of like old and ingrained like this. Fresh cigarette smoke in the air, as long as it's not coming directly up the face, I can live with that. This power supply is junk. So I went off making some very dodgy noises when that was on. I mean, I could try a different power supply on that motherboard. But I really don't think it's going to make an ounce of difference, to be honest. Anyway, the exercise for this video is just to take this one apart. I don't know if I'm going to put it in the bathtub tonight or what, because I actually do like the case. I don't think I'm going to get any of this nicotine stain off. But as long as I can get all the dead bugs and trees and filth out of it, I can live with this, because uh, the outside of the case isn't too bad. It's just annoying that someone uh, obviously liked a good smoke. Going by this, I'd almost have said it's probably a cigar or something. What's this? This is an ACASA IDE cable. See, look at the colour that's gone. I can guarantee for a fact it's not supposed to be that colour. Look at the labels. It's meant to be white. I don't know if I'm going to have enough battery left on this camera either. Right. I'm waiting for two barricade lamps to arrive. I was going to turn you around. Um, one I bought last week. I'll show you that when that arrives. And a fellow collector that's very often got lamps for sale on the good old eBay. He's uh, sending me... Is that a piece of water or bit of weed. <laughs> anyway, he is sending me out a static Dorman uni lamp for nothing. So I'm very grateful for that because I've been looking for a static version for flipping age. Oh, pardon me. Flipping ages. Each and every one I've got, I think even that red one I've got, um, is flashing. I know for a fact all of my amber ones are flashing. I'm not sure. See, I suppose swapping that TV I fixed for all of this was worth it just for the process of the RAM and that 650 watt power supply which does work. 
So, given the value of what that and those are, it was probably worth it, you know, in that sense. Plus it got a big TV out of the way that I wasn't using. Right, uh, do, he did message me on Facebook saying he was having some problems with it. He didn't tell me what though, but I then got a message later saying he'd fixed it. So, I'm not salvaging these simply because at least the bottom one wasn't working right so I just want motors out of that from a stepdad because he uses them believe it or not he puts them in Hornby trains double O gauge trains um, there's a certain size you can get in some of these drives that uh, he puts in them and apparently they drive the trains better and a lot quieter than a lot of the motors that come with them and um, I've kind of seen his point because he's got some there with you know the motor that is issued with the model and they are noisy as hell and oh didn't realize the other day when actually it was last night when um, these were dropped off um, Why are all these been cut? They've literally all been cut off or something. I don't know what it goes to either. But um, I found all these that weren't connected. Um, apart from, you know, your switch and everything, which is still connected there to the motherboard. Um, I couldn't find the USB ports or the audio. It's right here. How the fudge I didn't see that, I don't know. So, my worktop is absolutely filthy now. was nice and clean. I don't know whether to pop that front panel off or not. Either way, let's get this motherboard out because I'm hoping I can do it before the battery runs out of the camera so I can show you A, the capacitors, and B, something that I actually thought was quite unusual because I've never seen it before. A lot of motherboards I've come across, in fact all of them, the minimum number of dim slots I've seen are two and the max I've actually come across personally but I know they ha there's motherboards out there with more is four this has got three which I think is quite odd that it's got three two different channels as well because they're in different colours there's two in purple and one in sort of like a turquoise green get some of these cables out of the way. I wouldn't be surprised if something with eight legs come running out of this to be honest. I haven't seen anything with eight legs yet but just because I haven't seen one doesn't mean it doesn't exist. So the power supply and the two disk drives are junk. I haven't even figured out how I get the power supply. Yes I have figured out how you get the power supply out. It's just dawned on me. Oh. I've never seen the 12 volt and the 4 pin one right next to the 20 pin either. That's a 20 pin, yep, yeah, that's a 20 pin. So, if you get the motherboard out, I'm pretty certain. Possibly. Oh. Yes, it's got to go all the way back. <laughs> what an absolute pig. You've got to take the motherboard out to get the power supply out. What dumb idea is that? I'll tell you what, there's not a lot of screws holding this in either. I think it just took out about four screws. But there it is. See what I mean? Look, there's a pair there and then a single one there. I wouldn't mind before I actually ditch this, just um, obviously I'm going to try and, well I'll rescue the processor as well and test that. Got all sorts of freaking crap and dead crap on this. But yeah, I don't know if you can actually see on there. You might be able to see some of the caps that have bloated, especially up here. There's that one, that one, all four of those are gone. Uh, 
That one in there is gone. So is those two. So are these four in here. And to be honest, the tops haven't bloated, but the ones down in here don't look too brilliant either. I wouldn't trust them. Basically, all the electrolytics would need ripping off of this and replacing. And I haven't got the skill to do that, to be honest. I've tried it a couple of times. So, uh, it will be off with its processor later. I hope this works as well. It's a 5500, 256 megs DDR1, 128 bit AGP. Mm, for an AGP, that's not a bad graphics card. If that work, I might actually upgrade one of my XP gaming gaming rigs for that. Not gaming rig. Right. Let's get that out of there as well. So, aside from the front panel, just that curiosity. What did it? Yeah. It's a four hundred. supply actually. If it's noisy it could be the fan and we can replace the fan. So if it is I might do that. I don't have any power supplies like that. I don't really care that everything on it is sort of tarnished a cigarette colour. Because with this sort of case you can't see inside anyway because there's no windows so I'm not really fussed what the inside look like. I just want all this dirt and grime that's in it. Look at it. Ugh. Piece of twig. I just want all that crap out of it. Even dead bugs of some description in here as well. I actually get the stuff. Um, retro bright the front panel. Um, because I want to do that with a lot of my white Lego anyway. So at some point I do want to get the hydrogen peroxide so I can retro bright the plastic panel but the actual metal side covers aren't actually that bad it's like the fans and everything have sucked the cigarette smoke and whatnot straight into here and uh, you can see where it's been outside there's a lot of muck from rain splash up there I think I might actually pull this off yeah crap I'm not going to be able to pull the panel, the, uh, not the panel, the wires through if I do that. Cool. I'm not going to get it off. Oh, there's one off. Okay, so one off. Am I going to have to get medieval on it? Well, there's the ram it came with. Again, untested. I can't test it because the motherboard was... Stuff. So I think if I get bored late this evening, I might go and get one of my other motherboards and set up like a temporary rig and uh, test a few things. In fact, is this DDR and DDR2? Because I know I've got one of these that's DDR2. This looks to be DDR. Because if it is, yep. I might actually test the RAM at least. Can't test the processor because this is the wrong board for it. I should be able to do that and even test. No, I can't. Oddly enough, I've just realised it's got DDR RAM PCIe slot there for the video card, so that ain't no good for what I want. I've got an AGP video card. But still. I can test the RAM on that one, or I might just go and get another motherboard. So, these are both ready for a good suiting. This one's the worst. Pro yeah, that is the worst. But it's got a bottom mount for the um, power supply, which I actually like. But again, I actually thought at first all the brown tinging in here was uh, 
due to overheating or something. When I looked at the state of the fans and whatnot, it's um, just filth. But again, I just want to get rid of that smell and uh, get rid of as much filth on this as possible. So, Nemo's not in the bath, so I should be able to clear out the dirty laundry. And uh, I might leave these to soak overnight. Obviously, I'm not going to do things like the hard drives or the power supplies or anything like that. But these, with these wires, it's not going to hurt these wires, so I'm not worried about those. Heck, if the rain hasn't hurt them after all this time, because they've obviously been sitting outside for a while, I don't think soaking in a bath is going to hurt them. We've got all sorts of crap in here. I want to get that processor off, but I don't have a... I've got a bread knife though. Or a butter knife, I should say, not a bread knife. There we go. What have we got? Intel. This worked. It's an Intel, is that name? It's an AMT. Bastard. <laughs> Always had that problem with these. Come on. Thank you. Says it does work because I don't have many spare like this. AMD Athlon. Right, turn that that way up. Pins on those bends. So, oh God, there's even staining under the bloody processor. That's probably what killed the motherboard actually. <laughs> Don't know if the BIOS battery is any good, but I'm going to take it out and test it out. Are there any jumpers on this that I can pinch? Thought I'd seen one, but that was a transistor, not a jumper. No, actually, there doesn't seem to be any. Yes, there's one. So I'm presuming as it's right by that, it would be the BIOS jumper. There isn't any more on there, that was it. Oh, cut the video audio. Minus one because it's on the floor, right? It's like going to it's two for the bin, two for the scrap pile. What could be asked, I could probably sell those on eBay as scrap for a couple of quid. Because someone will salvage all the gold off of it, but I really can't be asked. Anyway, battery's flashing at me, so I'm going to disappear. So, uh, thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to get these cleaned up. So, at some point in the future, We'll be doing a couple of builds. I want to do a sleeper build on this one. I can't remember if I mentioned that earlier in the video. That is going to be a sleeper build, I hope. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I'll talk to you all in the next video. Bye.